not one of my normal run the mill videos um treat this as a, a warning if you like uh, facebook uh, has hundreds and thousands of groups for uh, dji quadcopters and the problem is they're full of people who don't actually know anything about quadcopters uh facebook is just a place to offer an opinion and that's all you ever get is opinions you ask a question you will get a hundred different people with a hundred different opinions as to what the answer should be nobody really knows what they're talking about there's there's a few of us you know i mean i'm one of those people who know what i'm talking about and there are other people as well but the majority of them are just people who've got themselves a quad read a few facebook posts joined a group and then tried to pass out that same information uh, this particular question was about compass calibration it's one of those that pops up pretty much on every single uh, facebook group how often should i calibrate my compass uh, and I believe this chap said something about um, calibrating after every battery change. That might be another post, I'm not quite sure. But someone did say, it, it, as a reply to the question, technically you are supposed to calibrate after every battery change. And I just read and thought, what the bloody hell are you talking about? So I replied back with that sort of bollocks, just to make the point of you are talking rubbish. So people then hopefully understand that what he said was rubbish. You don't have to calibrate after every battery change. His reply backwards apart from well that was a bit rude uh, was that was what he'd heard yeah exactly he'd heard it he'd not bothered to verify that fact before then posting it again so it's like chinese whispers he he's heard it he'll say it and then someone else will read that and then somebody on the line they'll pass that on and so on and so forth so you get this whole stream of misinformation someone actually did say that you know you, you ask a question you get 100 different answers and the right you do but the problem is is there's, there's one right answer but it always gets buried beneath the ton of wrong answers well they're not answers they're more opinions because that's what people tend to give on facebook now if you want to have a good source of information if you want to ask a question this website mavic pilots forum uh, i'll leave a link in the description for it join this forum all right it is full of experts when i say experts i mean people who know exactly what they're talking about if you ask a question here you won't get a hundred people replying with what their opinion is you'll get people replying who know what they're talking about all right simple as that there's also one for the phantom pilots for the phantom quads i'll leave a link for that one as well and um, i did i just did two seconds of searching the forum to find the answer that i think you know answers the question about compass calibration and it's from this guy metaphor a well-known member it's been on the forum for five years so I think he's probably got a lot of experience. And someone asked him about compass calibration. And this was his answer, clear and concise. Uh, the kind of people that calibrate their compass every flight are people that think recalibrating the compass somehow makes the flight safer and that recalibrating somehow fixes something. But calibrating the compass isn't like that at all. He says the only thing that calibrating the compass does is to identify and measure the magnetic fields that are part of the drone. Once identified and measured, these can be subtracted from the compass data, so the only magnetic field data the flight controller is working with is the Earth's normal magnetic field. The compass doesn't lose calibration, and the drone's own magnetic field shouldn't change unless you modify or rebuild the drone. Now, before I read the next part, someone actually posted an answer to uh, my statement of that sort of bollocks by saying that you need to recalibrate if you move more than 31 mile away from your last flying location, okay? Now, I can tell you that, again, is utter rubbish, all right? I live where I live, and I travel anything up to 50 miles, and I can fly my quad. The app doesn't pop up a warning. The quad doesn't misbehave. I've never had a flyaway uh, with any of my quads apart from one, and that's an old, long story. Um, so, again, where did that information come from? When he said that, I thought, where's he heard that before? Metaphor answers the question. He says, DJI adds to the confusion and superstition by forcing some of their recent drones to ask for recalibration after a certain time period or moving some distance from the last flying location. There is no physical reason for this, but someone at DJI thinks it's a good idea. Maybe in China, for some reason, you might need to have to do that. I don't know. That's just a guess. That's why they put it in the, in, in the manual. But I've travelled all around England. Uh, I've, I've done you know 70 80 mile from home um i've been you know quite a long distance i've just got the quad out i've thrown it up in the air and i've flown it never had any issues with it so i don't think that you should have to calibrate it if you move more than 31 miles 
But again, all the all the people had to do when they when they read something on Facebook is go and Google search, just ask the question, and then look for reputable forums. But they don't; they just pass the information around willy nilly as if that's gospel, and that's what really annoys me. Facebook is such a bad place to ask any question whatsoever. Don't use Facebook. If you want to use Facebook for posting your videos, great, do that. But if you want an answer to a question, please go somewhere like this Mavic Pilots Forum. I'll leave a link below and also the ones of Phantom Pilots Forum as well.